What's up, everybody? What's happening, family? And welcome back to another episode of Is, is This, this Gonna, gonna Cause an argument? an argument? My name is Angel Lakita Moore Tanksley, also known as That Chick Angel. And I'm one of the hosts of this podcast. Beside me is my husband, of almost 14 delicious years. The Dang other man. host. I'm the other host of This Is Gonna Cause an Argument, Marcus Anthony Tanksley, the first. Oh. Yeah. Yes, yes. Also known as Mark Sandler Graham, also known as Tank, also known as huh, Oh Heffa. Oh Heffa. So if this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much. Is this going to cause an argument? It's titled that because me and my husband be getting arguments. We do. About everything. This week. Not everything, but most things. About anything is what I mean. Yeah, about we anything. Get, we will yeah. get in an argument about anything, it, not everything. Yeah, you see it. Uh, 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 champagne card color was not champagne mm -hmm. it was champagne and we'll go a whole 15 minutes <laughs> listen if you go to our last episode it, it, we were arguing and it was mainly because he was hot so, yeah y'all it was so hot and it's still hot in his office so we uh got a fan in here today yeah pause for the cause so we made sure we had a fan in yeah, here it's, today. It's still hot in here. It's, we got these MR16 lights. They don't they don't put off no light. They ain't nothing but heat. That sound like he made that up. It's got an MR16. I know it, it. You're telling the truth. It just sound like you made it up. Got these MR16 lights. Then you got these fluorescents. They put off about what uh 75 knots above. Not this, yeah. You use a nautical distance. Listen, okay. that's how I feel like you be doing it to me sometimes. <laughs> so yes, we will get into arguments. All right, and uh, we don't care who it makes uncomfortable. If you uncomfortable <laughs> at this point, hey, I have hey. to tell you, don't listen or watch. Trigger warning. Uh, the yeah. people who have to sit through it though are the members of our Patreon. And they are watching mm -hmm. us live right now. They have watched us try to do this podcast successfully four times just for this episode. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I almost looked up. Just, Listen, they, we're they, not going to start they that do today. This many times. We're not. We, uh, we've not. They've watched us. It's contagious again. <laughs> Don't you try to call it contagious. <laughs> we both have the issue. Mercilessly. So. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, don't add me. Mercilessly. Don't ask you. <laughs> no, we, we this is common. Like, not common, but common. It happens enough. They will watch us for a good, solid 20-minute struggle of trying to get this thing started. Can you hear us? Can you see <laughs> us? Oh, we're frozen? No, we're not. Oh, no, the sound just dropped like, over here. Yeah, then, can y'all hear us? And then, like, five minutes later, we get 600 yeses. <laughs> and then the sound went out again. It's like, God dang. So even that could cause an argument. But today, uh, this episode is sponsored by three dope sponsors Absolutely. that we can't wait to tell you about. They are BetterHelp, mm -hmm. Audible, and Magic, Magic Spoon. Spoon. Magic and we'll tell Spoon. you more about these companies later on in the podcast so that you can support this podcast by, by um, trying out these sponsors. Also, I didn't say it, but if yeah. you want to be a part of our Patreon. Pa our, yeah, that's what I was about, I was about to them. ask you. Uh, did you already talk about it? I didn't tell The them. people that be watching us struggle through this before it actually gets to this point is our Patreon. That's the immediate family. You can join Patreon for the low, low of $5 a month, $60 a year. Come on through. Get at us and you see all the background stuff. You see how the argument started. Well, you may not. Yeah, you do usually see how it started. Listen, no, you can do a yearly <laughs> subscription to the Patreon and it's only $54. You 54 I've been lying all this time. If you do it one month at a time, then it is $60 and that's fine. But you for the year. the year, yeah, for fifty four up for front. For fifty four up front. Okay, guys. Woo. We have come to the time that we go into our first segment. It feels I, quick. Well, no, it does feel quick. Yeah. Even though it took us forever to get here, it feels like we quick got into it quick. Quick question: this or this? Both. All right. I know that. So guys, uh, my husband is asking me edit notes because oh, he's yeah. supposed to be over the giving me good notes because I edit our podcast, both the audio and the visual. So husband, I'm gonna let you choose today. What's our first segment gonna be? Oh, I can't talk about that. I was about to talk about what's been in the news. Uh, Got to stay away from that cancel button, so I ain't gonna talk of <laughs> it. That kind of angers me. Uh, we can do it, my feelings. Okay. No, yeah, let's do it with my feelings. Okay. Um, what's got me feeling some type of way is 
There's a couple things. Something is wrong with our older dog. Hmm. And garage band. Is that there is something wrong with our older dog. Yeah. And okay. it's getting worse and worse every time I see this dog. And it is tearing me up. I'm talking about when I saw him. No, no, no. What night was it? It was a couple of nights ago. I was up late working. And I thought I was. I'm going to let my husband get his paper flat. <laughs> You're making all the noises. <laughs> <laughs> Got to make sure it's flat and straight. I crinkled this up early. The pup. The, the, the dog has what Marcus thinks might be mange. He can barely walk with his hind legs like standing. His back legs will not support his weight fully anymore. In my opinion. And um, he be um, because I guess his skin is scratching him like he'll be bleeding from different spots. Yeah so. In the day from where he's been rubbing he's himself. He's been rubbing himself. He's old. Um large dogs that get old like that um they do they end up being too heavy for their weight oh, okay um and yeah the main so yeah he's old supreme's almost 12 years old um where is he 12 no no, no he's almost 12 he's about to he's rolling up on 12 i think he's the last of his siblings living no uh and yeah so he's uh, yeah so i gave him a uh bath today so that's what has had me and my feelings. I'm over here, y'all. I'm so tired. I ain't had enough sleep. Been struggling to stay awake driving home. Um, so when I got home, this is still saying I'm supreme. Uh, my original plan was to take a nap and then wake up and do this podcast. But I come home to pure pandemonium. So I come get to the house, walk in. They're like, uh, Supreme's over on the on the other side of the gate and he's bleeding. I'm like, what? Bleeding, they was like, yeah, he's he's uh, he's over there. He's stuck over. I was like, what has he gotten himself into? So I go in the backyard. I'm like, where is he at? So he's over. He's so we have a section of our backyard that is like a hillside, and it goes to the front yard. So he's made his way over there, and uh, there was well, it looks like he uh, hit his lip or something. I don't know. He had blood. He wasn't bleeding when I got over there, but I did see where he was bleeding. And that part got on the gate, so of course it looked a lot worse than what it did because you we got this white off white metal fence and it's got splats of blood on it, so it looks like a hell of a lot, a lot of blood. But um, so when I brought him back over, I bought this uh, it's like a li a lime sulfur treatment for a mange, um, and I meant to do it, give him a bath this weekend. However, it was too chilly outside. I was like, I'm not gonna give him a bath while it's this cold. Um, so then I got home today. It's a whole lot warmer. So I went ahead and gave him uh, the, the a regular bath to get all the dirt and stuff out of him because he was. Oh, let me get, talk tell y'all about that. So he's over on the hillside and he's laying like his legs are under him, like his hind legs are under him, and he's just laying there. And I and this uh, the way he walks now because he's older. I know he didn't walk down that hill. He definitely tumbled. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That hill. He was all the way <laughs> the steep. front gate. He was against the fence. Right, but was he all the way down at the hill? Yeah. Oh, why didn't you By let the him out? That? Why did you? Why didn't you let him down? Why didn't you let him out that way? Why? He could not stand up. No, do you get what I'm saying? It would have been easier for you to open up the gate to go in I that did. way. I did. Oh, oh. No, that's what I'm saying. Good I'm God, saying I I, no I went. I ain't got an attitude. I went and unlocked the gate. I had to walk in there and. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't hear you say that in this story that you went and unlocked. But I told the you gate. earlier. No, I missed that part. No, uh, you, no, I didn't no. I definitely said it because I said he was by the front gate, but he wasn't by over where the gate is. He was off to the side of the gate, but he was against the front fence anyway. So. I open up that side of the gate and I literally have to get a uh, and I didn't think about that till probably like 15 minutes ago I was like he definitely fell down that hill uh -huh. <laughs> anyway um, I got a towel because I didn't want to hurt him by like picking him up so I had to get a towel he could stand it up on his front legs but his back legs was like under him and like I was like come on so he's trying to get up I was like God so I got a towel and like spread it out and like kind of wrapped it around him like almost like a burrito to like pick him up 
pick up his back legs and his waist and everything. So I walked him out like that. But as soon as I got him out to the sidewalk, he stood up and shook off and then took off walking. I was like, all right, come on. So I took him on to the backyard and that's when I gave him a regular bath to try to scrub all the uh, extra hair off of him because where he has the main jet, like the hair is just on there. Like you can just pull it off. And so I scrubbed him there. You could tell it was feeling good because he was like leaning into it. Uh, probably because his skin was itching and then I gave him the sulfur uh, sponge treatment to try to kill the mange. I'm supposed to do it like once a week now so uh, so yeah so I was doing that so by the time Angel gets home and she sees him he looks a whole lot worse than what he has because I've exposed all the mange on him and gotten rid of all the hair that wasn't supposed to be there uh, but he's old he's really old and so I'm going to take him into the vet this weekend and I'm not sure if he's coming back from the vet this weekend well, let me tell us. I was telling the story before you came. Oh, my in. bad. I was doing. I'm sorry. I was. <laughs> I know. Shouting, I'm, it's been, fine. Right. I'm not making you apologize. I can't do no, can't do no good, y'all. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> so I was up late working. You and, didn't say that. <laughs> right. And I'm hearing. Mm, mm. I can hear it in the backyard. Every couple of. Every, like, minute. Mm, mm. And I was just like, oh no, is that Supreme? Oh no. Now, Supreme is not the dog that I take care of, but that does not mean that I don't care about that dog. And I care about any animal. I don't like when I, I'm, Marcus can tell you, I do not like to see puppies out in the middle of the street. Like, if I can't get that puppy in my car, then I have to drive away quickly because I do not want to see no puppy get like hit by a white car. Woman. She will risk her life. Trying to save a puppy. Uh, it's it's bad. I'm I, like, that puppy ain't lived long enough to care about life yet. I mean, if it's going to get put down, I, I mean, if it's going to die, I'd rather it be done in what's considered humane, not being If <laughs> somebody car. rolled up on Angel seeing a puppy in the street, they would swear up and down that was her dog. <laughs> I don't They're like, like man, we got your dog. Oh, it's not mine. I, I just pulled up right before you did. <laughs> and I'm not even like a dog person. I'm not the type that's just like, oh my God, look at my dog. My dog is so amazing. I'm not that type of person, but I do have a sensitivity to living beings, yeah, especially, especially pets. You know what I'm saying? Even if I can't stand a person's pet. So I'm like, oh no. Because if this, I was like, if this dog is in this backyard crying, I'm about to wake my husband up and he's going to have to take this dog to the emergency room to be put down. We, I will not let this dog spend the night crying. So I go downstairs by the kitchen door because the kitchen door is near the backyard. And I have my ear to the door. And I'm just waiting. And I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. And I was like, now when I was upstairs, this thing was happening every minute. What is going on? So finally, I go outside and I'm looking at his doghouse, but he hasn't gotten out yet. And then when I think he senses my presence, he gets out. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, 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 don't get out. Because I know it's not the easiest thing for him to get in motion when he hasn't been in motion. Then I finally hear it. Hmm. Y'all, it was an owl, <laughs> and I was through the do through the door. It sounded like hmm, hmm. outside. You could hear that it was ooh, ooh. just coming through the walls. There seemed like a closed mouth that was making it. So this weekend we outside, and we hear this owl again. I haven't heard of owls in a long time. Anyway, we heard this owl again, and I hear Lottie barking at it, and I'm like. And you know, that would be a nice size meal for an owl, right? She was like, that's that same owl I heard the other night. I said, really? It's the same It's the same owl. She said, yeah, I know it's who. That owl live up the street <laughs> talking all that trash. I really um, did. It had me, it had my little heart in turmoil. I said, no. No, but his, no. Um, his joints have gotten better because it was one, one point in time where he would like whimper to stand up. But I started feeding him um, glucosamine tablets and fish oil tablets. I'm stuffing all these pills down the store every night, so he don't. As bad as he walks, he's not like you can't hear or see that he's in like a lot of pain. He's just like an old man. Like, all right, let me take my time. He looks like he's in pain to me when he stands, because he can't straighten his back leg. Like when he stopped to just like look, his back legs he can't like press up to get his booty up. 
that to me looks like it looks painful to me he's not crying but to me it looks painful mm. what type of when when we have to put him down how long is it going to take you before you get another dog I don't know I don't want no more dogs right now so you don't want your guard dog mm mm I'm going to spend $10,000 on security. I'll be good. Okay. Listen, I'm, I'm not mad at it. They have the... Uh, I'm sick of dogs right now. Dogs are a lot. Dogs are a lot. Uh, I've, had, I've had dogs for a long time. All my life, I've had dogs. <laughs> like, I mean, I've had dogs for a long time, too. Like, there's been... Let me think. I had a gap during my adult life that I didn't have dogs. But a, a lot of my childhood, I had dogs. I had a very short gap in, in my case. life. Very, very short gap in my life where I didn't have a dog. And I'm at this point, I'm like, no, I'm good. Uh, somebody asked, are the boys attached to the Supreme? No. Nah. They, the they, twins might be a little bit. No, they all love Supreme. Even Amar. Amar be yelling at him. He go, preem. <laughs> preem. But my three oldest boys completely understand. Yeah. That Mar dogs Mar Mar don't care. Dogs be dying. They... They all three understand that. After yeah. when I had to put down Cal Callie, even though <laughs> Sai for the longest was like, no, she's fine. The doctor's giving her medicine. I was yeah. like, no, uh, she's Cal dead. <laughs> Cal was like, no, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they uh, they would understand. It's not like um, uh, Supreme was so big that he was more of an annoyance when they would be outside yeah, playing because he was, was so big and playful so it wasn't like it was a point in time where they used to ride him like Marcus used to ride him and stuff and found out I was like Marcus you can't ride him no more like he's getting too old um, um, but a lot of times they come outside and the thing he wants to do is lick on them and get in their way Yeah. so uh, it wasn't like the well, dog used to now he's like What's up? You right. Give the head out. Like, what's going on? Like, Lottie is the size that if she was trained, that they would want to have in their room. Like, she used to, when she was allowed to live in the house, um, she would go into their room and uh, Kai would put her in the bed. Like, she's the, she's the size dog that they could get attached to because they can handle her at this age. So, um, if she ever become, if she ever gets to become the house dog that I want her to be. I could see them getting more attached to her than Supreme because Supreme was 100% outside all the time. Yeah, all the time. Supreme never liked being in the house. He would come in the house. I would let him in the house. He would walk around for 10, maybe 15 minutes and he's sitting by the back door like, hey, open this before I open it for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Right. Um, so, yeah. Now, the other thing that has me had me uh, feeling some type of way um, Actually, before I get into it, let's talk about our first sponsor. Um, and mm -hmm. it is a sponsor that we'll probably need if we have to put down our puppy. And that is BetterHelp. You've heard us talk about them multiple times. Um, because we at Is This Gonna Cause an Argument fully believe in the efficiency and the effectiveness of therapy. And BetterHelp offers professional counseling done securely online it's not a crisis um, line and it's not self-help and what's great is that you can start communicating in under 48 hours which is huge because a lot of times if you find a good therapist like like outside of better help it might take you a whole 30 days before you're even able to get an appointment but with better help better help two days and you can start communicating and BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Um, I'm not sure if any of you all have tried therapy. Therapy is almost like dating. Trying to find that person that you gel with. It's, it's um, because it is about someone that can really speak to your, I don't want to say issues, but where you are in life and the things that you want to work on. Mm -hmm. And one person might not be able to do that for you. And that's what's so great about BetterHelp is that you you get matched. And if you need to find another match, guess what? You can go on to the app or go online to be able to find you the match that works. You get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. 
and the services available to clients worldwide. Also, it's more uh, affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available because that's one thing. And I think that's a, which is sad is that therapy for a long time was, not only was it not something that black people really saw mm. as important, it was also not accessible because of the cost. Absolutely. So the fact that BetterHelp is uh, giving us a way to get therapy, have access to therapy at a cheaper or counseling at a cheaper price is amazing. Also, um, what's great is, is that they, because they have so many different counselors, you'll be able to find people who specialize in a broad range of expertise that you might not be able to get locally. So we want you to join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional by you visiting betterhelp.com slash argue. Argue. That's better H-E-L-P. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. And is this going to cause an argument to listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash argue. Argue. So, the other thing that's got me pissed off or in my feelings is Mother's Day. Y'all. So, Mother's Day, I decide I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to get myself a new purse. And I said, I'm going to spend a little money on this purse. My purses that I usually buy for myself don't cost over $40. So I said, you're going to spend a little bit of money today. And not only that, you're going to buy you a cute pair of sandals. First of all, I go to the mall and there's too many people there. That's the first thing that's pissing me off. Why all y'all out here? COVID is real. But then I'm also mad at myself because I'm like, why you out here? COVID is real. <laughs> but the problem is, is that I've been to the mall multiple times during the pandemic. But I forgot that when I usually go is during the week yeah. in the middle of the day. So it's like me and the security guard. Yeah, even without pandemic, it's empty during those times. Yes, but it's, it was super. It was to the point that I thought the mall wasn't open the couple of times that I went. Mm. I was like, y'all let me in by accident. Yeah, <laughs> y'all sure <laughs> that I'm supposed to be in here? I go, I park near Macy's and go in. I see the purse, but not in the color that I want. And I want to ask someone to help me. But the person that works in the department, she is working the cashier, was actually two women. And the line is long as hell. Then I said, okay, I'll go to another department store, higher end. I go, and at first I'm, I'm not sure if they have it because I'm like, is this purse considered higher end? I don't know. They have that section. They have the style of purse in the tinier version, but not in the color that I want. And then I don't want the tinier version. The, the version I want is already smaller than what I would normally carry. So the, the smallest size, I'm like, this must be for a child. And they're like, you can order it and it'll be here by Tuesday. And I said, but I want it today. And they were like, oh, okay. I said, well, let me check another place. Check another department store. Same thing. Well, they just, they have it in a different color, not the color that I want. And I said, okay, well, let's, let's, you know what, let's try for the sandals. I go to Steve Madden. Every shoe I want to try on, they don't have in my size. Every shoe. All of them. And all of them. Until I pointed out one shoe that I wasn't even sure if it was cute. I said, that shoe probably ugly. Do you have it in my size? They were like, we do. And I bought it just so I could not be mad. I was like, I, because by this time. Is that the shoe that you said I probably wouldn't like? Yes. Oh, oh okay. So, by this time, I have already been sweating because I've been walking through the mall in my sweatsuit. Okay? I didn't walk. None of these departments, because they're department stores. You know, department stores are at tail ends of malls. They're not beside each other because that's just too much like right. So, I'm now sweating. under My back fat is sweating. Underneath my breasts are sweating. I'm so frustrated. So, I done bought these sandals that I don't even know if they're cute. And I said, but I'm going to check Aldo. Because Aldo and Steve Madden's, their styles are very similar. Mm -hmm. I almost cussed out their yeah, sales. Yeah, half of Aldo's store is full of Steve Madden's. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, almost cussed out the girl because she was like, okay, first things first. 
she's like, I need you to write down your email address because we aren't allowed to do paper receipts because of COVID. And I was like, this is making sense because you have me using the same pen that everybody else is using. Right. How is that safer than you giving me a piece of paper right. that has only been touched by you and myself? I was like, okay, whatever. Then I try to, the safer thing to do. <laughs> it's so much wrong with that statement. Go ahead. Right. I'm sorry. I just like, <laughs> my mind just went crazy. <laughs> so the way I now pay a lot of times with my credit card is instead of sliding it in, I do the tap at the yeah. top. Right? Safe way to do it. Tap. Pop. And it's like into your pen. I press escape. And I said, let me try this again. Oh, I pressed the cancel thinking it would op uh, would it bypass the pen. But it doesn't. It starts the tenure all over. Tap. And it says pen. And I said, how do I bypass that? She said, you can't. If it's a um, if it's a debit card, you have to put in the debit. False. She said it doesn't uh, it doesn't allow you to do credit. I said then why does it say credit or debit on the screen? It doesn't work that way. I said cancel it out. So because I, I I'm about to buy these uh, black heels. So then I go ahead uh excuse me and stick it in the slot. And I bypass the pen then right. Now, meanwhile, I'm standing there and there's this uh, couple in wheelchairs beside me. I hear the woman say, I need your email address because we don't give our receipts. And the dude was like, no. <laughs> no. We don't have emails that we'll give you. She was like, okay. And I see a paper receipt come about on a machine. And I said, excuse me. To the woman self me, what is that a paper receipt I see? And she's like, um, no, we can't give our paper receipts. I said, I'm watching this woman put this receipt in this bag for these people. And the woman was like, we had to uh, bypass it. I said, it's okay. Now, why are you telling me I couldn't get a paper receipt and I had to use this little dirty pen that everybody else used? You could have just, well, well, she wasn't supposed to do that. I said, I, I need to see y'all to get on one accord. And so the woman is now like, the woman who did the thing is now talking to the other customers. And so my chick is pretending like she's standing there to talk to her. And then she trying to goes off to do something else. And I said, I need an answer. Why would I ask for, why would I ask why I needed to do this? You said you could give me a paper receipt. And she was like, well, no, I had to, I had to override the system. Oh, well, why couldn't you override the system for me? I said, is it because I look different? I had no idea any of this happened. <laughs> so, no. I said, is it because I look different? And the woman was like, no, there's no discrimination. I said, it feels discriminatory. <laughs> and I said, you need to tell her that. Because now this woman, the little, the little brown hair girl who's helping me is trying to walk away. Right? And I realized in that moment, I was you on the last episode of this Discord <laughs> cause an argument. I was hot. <laughs> I was still, they were still wrong. But I didn't. Hey, when they're sweating. <laughs> now you feel my pain. You just turn into an old asshole when you I get was, hot. I was sweat. I mean, sweating. Sweating. I didn't have my purse. I had some sandals that I thought might be ugly. I bought some heels that are cute, but they weren't exactly what I wanted. Because Steve Madden don't have that size shoe that I mm -hmm. wanted in any. See, karma's old, dirty, rotten. But no, because I, <laughs> I was getting ready. The, the, the explicatives were getting ready to fly out of my mouth. And I said, let me just walk out. And I saw them huddled together talking, thinking, that angry black woman. And I said, that's all right. So I walked that's back. That's what you said about me. So I walked back into I know. I said, Mark's going through menopause. So I, let, let me tell you, this is the moral of the story, y'all. Because I could have cussed them out. And, I, and it was so funny I because scream. It was, I could even call them some names. But them. it ain't going to be me, ain't you, mama? <laughs> <laughs> but listen, because at the time I ended up texting, I was texting the group text messages of Tony, Kev, to here because they were all wishing me Happy Mother's Day. And I was like, oh, I'm getting ready to cuss out a sales associate. They're like, do it, do it. I was like, F you don't fly as well when you got a mask on because they need to see the teeth hit the, yeah. the lip. I was like, you, they got to see it. A little bit of saliva to come down your lip. Right. And I said, I go back to Macy's. Macy's is now looking quite empty. And I say, you know what? everybody left to go over to Aldo to see what all the commotion was. I say to the woman, I said, do you have that purse in black? She said, let me check my system. She said, it says we got one in the back. I'll try. 
she's gone for about 10 minutes and she comes back with my black purse I said that was the Lord rewarding me for sparing that little white girl's life because I was about to cuss her from here to Oklahoma or wherever she might have been from <sighs> but yeah they got under my skin They're, real bad it reminds me there's this time this has nothing this, when you talk about getting mad at people mm -hmm. I went to uh, this is way back we were dating I was working in Louisville mm -hmm. and we went to this restaurant and this chick was in there talking she thought she was flirting with us but she was just annoying us Oh, to the point to where she was just getting smart at it and we were we had ordered our food this is at this restaurant we had ordered our food and she started taking our order and then she you know went around and she started cleaning out the windows, right? Mm -hmm. So we we both standing there with our arms crossed. I was like, like this ain't even funny no more. Like, would you just do? You have a manager here. He's like, oh, oh my manager's. She just went on saying the most crazy stuff. So finally, somebody else saw how annoyed we were getting. So they came over and took over, and she went around and started cleaning the windows and everything, right? So <laughs> on my way out, I grabbed a handful of fries and squeezed them. And pushed open the door and smeared my hand print. <laughs> you, you, you how many blessings of yours are you blocking to be petty? It was so great. <laughs> to be petty. There's nobody pettier. I aim for that goal. Do you? Daily. You just a jerk. <laughs> You're a jerk. It's all about customer service. It is about customer service. It truly is. And I was just ready to just uh but you know what? There's a company that you ain't never got to worry about them treating you some type of way. Mm -hmm. That company is Audible. Audible. I have been waiting for this brand deal. I have been waiting for this sponsorship. I am so glad that Audible thought of us worthy for their sponsorship. Uh, a lot of people have heard of Audible. Audible is a great way for you to get spoken word entertainment in one place. It also is the largest selection of audiobooks, ranging from bestsellers and um, new releases, celebrity memoirs, languages, business motivation, and um, original entertainment from top celebrity creators and thousands of popular binge-worthy podcasts. Now, as a member of Audible, you'll get one credit every month, good for any title, in their pre entire premium selection. That means the latest bestsellers, the buzziest new releases, the hottest celebrity memoir, or that bucket list title that you've been meaning to pick up but you just haven't yet. These titles are yours to keep and forever, forever in your Audible library. Now, this is what I love about Audible. Oh, and I should also mention, excuse me, new members can always try Audible for 30 days on them. So 30 days. This is what I love about Audible. Y'all know that um i'm busy <laughs> okay and i don't always have time to just sit and read a book that's not and I, there was a time where i was in a book club and i thoroughly enjoyed ingesting literature uh you remember i was in the book club with the mm -hmm. black women i was actually reading these books we were reading stuff from oprah's best selling uh best sellers list or oprah's book club list excuse me and i loved it but with all the things I do, with all the businesses that I'm trying to get off the ground and run, being able to do that is not, it's not really feasible right now. So with Audible, I'm able to enjoy books that I've been really wanting to read without feeling like I have to stop my entire world to get it done. I definitely can't wait to like really dive into Audible once I go on tour and I'm able to um, listen while we're traveling because also I don't know this I don't know if you all are like this I get car sick so even though we'll be driving to different venues I can't read <laughs> with my eyes okay. in nobody's car I will get sick but with Audible I can continue to read or you know listen to the books that I'm reading um, and uh, enjoy it I know that I used it here's another thing i'm sorry i'm just telling y'all so much stuff uh but um i was able to get a book for little marcus on audible so y'all know i think we've told y'all this before he is uh he has dyslexia 
And so what's like good? His parents. Yes. What's good for him? What's helpful is if he has a book. Go ahead. If he has a book and can listen to it while he's reading it, because it allows a part of his brain to relax so that his uh, comprehension can deepen. So there was a book that he was reading in a book club that he's in. I had him in a book club for young black boys. So I was able to get the audio version on Audible. I also got the paperback. So he was able to listen to the audio while also reading the word. So there's so many good things that you're able to use Audible for. And um, I know he enjoyed being able to do it both ways. So this is what we want you to do. We want you to visit audible.com slash argue or text audible to 500-500. Again, visit audible.com slash argue or text argue to 500-500. All right, you guys. Now let's jump back to the Show. Argue. <laughs> um, all right, so I just told them we're still in what I love, what I have, uh, what I mean, okay. not what I, we're still in. Am I well, yeah, so what's got you feeling good? What's got you we feeling have, good? We halfway through the episode, haven't even jumped to the topic, but I know what the topic is. I don't know if you remember it. No, nah, I already had something else in mind. What's the topic? We we said what the topic was gonna be. No, you tell me what's got you feeling good. Um, just got me feeling. Good. I don't know. Supreme just took my whole thought process. No, you don't have nothing specific. You got me feeling good. Tell tell us be specific. Tell me why. Because you my wife, and I wake up to you every morning. <laughs> my oldest son <laughs> is the trashest babysitter we've ever had. Uh, little Marcus, come get your brother. He had one job. It was to keep the third co-host up out of here. Y'all food in there. Um, you, you got me feeling good. Be very, very, very specific. What's got you be feeling? Got you feeling good about me in this very moment for this podcast, or not very moment for this podcast? But was there a specific moment that made you feel good about me? No, you got my back. Do I got your bag? Yeah. I do. Yes, you do. I do. I do be having his bag. He know it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In his front. Come on. Hey. Come on, son. Hey, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come man. on, son. As a matter of fact, he ain't had no nap. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but that's a... I mean, that's a cheat code. Because I didn't know she, she... Yeah, that's... But for real. Thank Just you, that always got me feeling good. Thank you, babe. Uh, did I do something recently that made you feel that way? I always feel that way. I just don't say it enough. Oh, but I'm saying, no. I'm, was there something? Give me. I want a specific. You know me. I like a good when you did this. Um. Once again, uh, shedding light. Let, shedding the light so I can see the business aspect of what we're doing. Ah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, that made me feel good about what's going on. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because I be in my own lane sometimes. I start, I get, what's it called, tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. um, so I lose sight of everything else that's going on. And we got a lot going on. And a lot of times, even though I be involved in it, I don't see the full picture of it. Mm. It's just like, I don't know, you somebody you, somebody's building a house and they're like, hey, go drill it. Go drill all these holes in the studs from that point to that point. And you go do it not realizing that the electricity and plumbing is going to be ran through those holes. Mm -hmm. And you did that part. But the only thing you did was did drill the holes and then forgot about it. So just as an explanation, I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but y'all mm -hmm. get it. Mm -hmm. Don't talk trash. No, that was a great nah. explanation. That was <laughs> so great. yeah, so shining that light and it's like, oh, okay. And let me see that and getting me to refocus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Thanks, babe. That's my schmuckums. Thanks, babe. <laughs> you the baby what I feel good about. I had something too. <laughs> I did. Oh, that's what it was. The front. <laughs> yeah. 
Yo, the work that we're getting done on our house is looking so good. It is. It's looking so... Yeah, do y'all see, we got, like, in the middle of construction back If you're here. watching, you see the stuff is, yeah. like, covered with plastic. You got scaffold in the uh, living room or the front foyer. The foyer. We got a foyer. The foyer. By the way, we are mesmerized by this house. We are absolutely in love. Um, it don't always feel real. Like, it's a true blessing. It really is. This house got me feeling very great. Uh, I'm telling you, I walked in today. So, to give y'all a little bit, we are um, getting the house painted. Is basically one of the one of the major things we're getting done. Because the house was darker. Now, y'all know, as an influencer, pictures need to be bright. And that was one thing I hated about our old house. We just didn't have enough light to shine. If you go on my Instagram, you see I take I take most of my pictures in front of two places. It was either in front of the kitchen sliding glass doors because the sun would hit there. Or in front of the bay window that was in the uh, dining room. Mm -hmm. uh, those only two places. Spot. Outside. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not in the house. Oh, yeah, that's true. So... Um, with this house, uh, well, with <laughs> any other place we were to live, that was one of the things is just like, I know, like, as an influencer, when I start working with these brands, I don't want to have to pull out 50 million lights just mm -hmm. to be able to make a picture pop. So the house, we wanted to, to be able to brighten it up. And this house already has a lot of windows. So you add the white paint, Swiss coffee to be exact. And Apparently, black people love Swiss coffee. <laughs> That's what That's I painted. What the said. <laughs> he said, "Black people really." He said, "A lot of my African clients, especially, love white." He'd be like, "I'll suggest colors," and they'll be like, uh, "No white." <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, it also is nice that we didn't paint. Let me tell you, my husband was like, "Now nah, we paint this house. We gonna go room by room." Now, mind you, y'all haven't heard this man say. That he's not allowed me to paint anything else. Angel ain't allowed to paint her nails. <laughs> I, yeah, I wish she would paint something in this house. But he wanted us to yeah, paint the house. You want to do all the, the masking. Oh, you didn't want that? that I'm terrible at that. <laughs> you terrible at painting too. No, I'm not. You can gonna, mix. I'm good at painting. I'm good at painting. Um, but he allowed me on both occasions. Actually, I got my way all the way. Thank you. Because originally, Marcus wanted us to move ourselves. And I was like, I oh, know. I, I don't want it. I do not want. And so we got the movers. And then I requested for us to be able to get uh, painters. And I was like, if we can do this one. I said, I gave him a job that we could do. I said, we could do this one job together. Will you um, let me get painters? And he said, uh, okay. And luckily, the painters are going to do the one job that we said that we were going to do together, too. But Marcus also now, realized now he didn't on. want to... Now, hold on. When we first started talking about getting the house painted and we got them quotes, it was just like... So, you... <laughs> no, the house painting wasn't the quote that, that bothered me. It was the other oh, yeah, job. Oh, yeah, the other job, yeah. So... I but... was like, no, we're going to end up doing that. And she refused to tell me how much they was going to charge her. <laughs> she was like... So we're gonna do that together. Is yeah, that I, said, listen, <laughs> I was like, listen. So can we? So even just the blessing of being able to bless someone else who is skilled at this, yeah, and pay them because me and Marcus. Well, we had a plan that we were gonna paint all the rooms and then they paint the common areas. Um, but then we were just like, once we got in and started moving and unpacking, it was like, even I was like. So let's go ahead and call a couple people, get some quotes, <laughs> get this house painted. Listen, we have we have been blessed for this to have been the third property we've ever purchased. We don't have a uh, portfolio of because we've had to sell all of our previous yeah. houses, but in all of those spots, most of the up. Well, that's a lie about the last house. The last house we got blessed because I was like, we're gonna do this on a TV show, and that did happen. But a lot of times we did not have the disposable income mm -hmm. to be able to bless someone else who could do not only do it more efficiently than us they would also do it more skilled than us yeah um it just wasn't feasible it wasn't like 
and we weren't managing our money in a way that made it feasible. We uh -huh. possibly could have if we were to just been like that focused of like, okay, this is gonna cost this much money. Let's yeah. start saving it. Nah, we, we weren't was, thinking we in that living way. So lavishly. <laughs> I wouldn't have called it lavish. We just weren't living well, tight. We was living lavish beyond. We was living beyond our means. Nah. No, we weren't living no, we beyond wasn't. our means. We, we just, just weren't, weren't, yeah, we just we weren't, weren't making the we weren't sacrifices. Managing, yeah, we weren't managing as well, and we weren't making the sacrifices to save up to be able to do it. Yeah, lavish is definitely not the way I would put any way we've ever lived, <laughs> but... Relatively lavish. <laughs> I will say that we weren't making the type of sacrifices we needed to make to be able to say, oh, we want to get all the rooms painted. This is going to cost $5,000. Let's make sure we save five thousand yeah. dollars, which wouldn't have taken us long to do. We just weren't focused to do it. Right. So um, we were able to do it this time. Yeah. And that's got me feeling good because I am not a spring chicken. I am definitely a summer hen. Cute one. <laughs> Come on. The breast and the thighs are still amazing, but. I don't want my energy to be spent on tasks that other people, I, I'm assuming they enjoy doing because they're good as heck at it. I just don't want to, I don't want to have to do that. I mean, and, they enjoy doing it. I mean, like I said, they might not, but they're very good at it and they come here happily. They don't look like they're like, oh, good. They come here and yeah. they get their work Oh, yeah, done. no, them, but yeah, just because somebody's good at doing something don't mean they enjoy doing no, it. No, 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 I get yeah. it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So, yeah. That's me and Chance was talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I, I like, I'm great at this. I don't want to do it no more. I it's got that's got me feeling really good. Yeah. Coming home, seeing the boys' room bright and airy looking. Yeah. I was just like, Ugh, our house looks so modern now. It's getting there. That's just Especially when I start doing these, putting up the windows, the blinds and stuff. This house looks like it was built two weeks ago. That's the that's one paint. thing with this white paint. It definitely makes it. I said that when they finished uh, the living room, I was just like, "This looks like a brand new house." I'm telling you. Yeah. Like it was built two days ago. Like, oh, we're the first ones to live here. Oh, thanks. Yeah. That's what it feels like. So I praise God for it. Thank you, Lord. So, <laughs> with <laughs> the 20 <laughs> minutes we have left of the podcast, we'll jump to the Yo, topic. we ain't even got to the topic yet. It's all good. I feel like this has been an interesting podcast. The topic we chose was if we had a million dollars. Oh, yes. How's it getting spent? And it can't be in no vague way. I'm about to actually bring up prices. It can't be to pay off this house or to pay off debt. Imagine those two things don't exist. Oh, I didn't plan on it. <laughs> He's like, I told you, don't be managing my money. Yeah. Um, okay. To start off, how you spending money? I already said my two things. What you mean? We just started the I'm episode. I'm talking about last week. <laughs> you remember what I said? No, what did you say? I said, I'm gonna put the half of it aside, the other side is going to. What did you say? <laughs> prostitutes and drugs. <laughs> what you Because you are dumb. You are dumb. Okay. I'll um, oh, go ahead. So I'm already looking at. It costs $91,995. No, excuse me. $91,995. To fly to Africa by private jet. That's how I'm getting there. Okay? Start there. And that's um, a 20-day mm. thing. Let me see. How many stops is it? When, what's the difference between ultimate and premium is what I need to know. There's a private jet. So, I don't know. Private jets don't have a very long range. That's fine. It's, I still take it. I still take it. Hold on. You're going to spend four weeks getting there. Let me tell you what ultimate <laughs> means. Ultimate. Okay, so we get ultimate expedition. Ultimate? Yeah, ultimate. Why are you saying with an A at the beginning? Oh, you want me to say ultimate? That's what it is. Ultimate expedition sweeping theme itineraries. That's great for... Uh, that cover great distances using a specially configured private jet. Okay, so they got private performances. Aha, uh -huh, I want all this. Yes. Okay, you could take 57 people. I don't want to take that many folk. I want to take you. Ain't a private jet no more. Yeah, I'm saying there's <laughs> probably more than one private jet. I want to take you, I want to take the kids, and I want to take two nannies. 
So that's yeah, that must be like a small commercial airliner that they strip some seats out of. Or I, I don't think they say you all fly in that one jet, babe. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not. I don't know. Now, what's premium though? They got a premium. If y'all wondering, I'm looking at this this up on NationalGeographic.com. Hold on, before actually, before we jump into that, we got to get into this magic spoon. Magic spoon. Baby, tell them about your love for cereal. Yeah, I love me some cereal. Tell them like, why. It ain't no, it's, it's a quick and easy meal. It's filling. It's delicious. I Magic know. Spoon is sugar free. Oh, yeah. Zero grams of sugar. There's, you know what it is about cereal that I love, I think? It's the sweet mixed with the cold milk that just does me right. It's just, mmm. Mmm. Feels like everything, right? But yes, as Marcus was saying, um, unlike a lot of these cereals that give you that mm, good feeling, you about to have all that sugar, you about to have all them carbs, you about to have all that bloatedness, okay? With Magic Spoon, you got zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net carbs in each serving. And only 140 grams per serving. Okay, I mean, who's winning? Me, you, everybody who got Magic Spoon? Excuse me. Bless you, King. One more time. It's keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, low carb, GMO free. And they've got a new flavor. I don't think you know this. I know it because I did the ad for the bald and the beautiful. Mm -hmm. They got a new flavor called birthday cake. I am so excited. Birthday. Birthday cake. I can already tell that's about to be something. Just <laughs> a little birthday cake with a little bit of vanilla almond milk. Oh, I'm going to because that's going to be like the vanilla is going to be like the icing on the cake. Yeah, it is. Ooh! Now, just so you know, birthday cake is for a limited time. Okay? So you can't be waiting and dragging your feet. If you want to give it a try, you're going to need to jump on it right now. And you get birthday cake inside a five pack, a special five pack. Or you can build your own. So when you build your own, you can uh, custom build with cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, and cinnamon. Okay, you can build with those. I recently put the peanut butter in the chocolate to go. Had me a good old uh, peanut butter cup. Cereal. Yes, God. Um, also, if you're listening in Canada, like our admin Shantae is, Magic Spoon now ships there to you as well so you guys this is what we want you to do once you go to magicspoon.com slash argue argue to grab the new limited edition birthday cake or a custom bundle of cereal to try today and be sure be sure to use our promo code argue argue at checkout to save five dollars off your order this offer is now good anywhere in the u.s or canada but only when you use our code at checkout and Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's back with 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. Remember to get your next delicious bowl of guilt-free cereal at magicspoon.com slash argue. Argue. And use the code argue, argue to save $5 off. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring this episode. Bow, 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 bow. Okay. So I'm gonna get my trip to Africa. Okay. I also oh wait a minute, what did you say you wanted? The actually a trip. I didn't think about the um because you know I definitely want to do Africa. I didn't know to what de I didn't have detail on how to get there, but private jet didn't even cross my mind. Listen. But that's that's that that would be one, but I don't want to steal that one because you already said that one. No, but that's fine. That's oh yeah, fine. so that's yeah, definitely. Africa private jet. Be, spend a good month. Uh -huh. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give one of my, my my African families to adopt me. I'm gonna go through that whole thing. You gonna go through the whole yeah, thing? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now the other place that I want to go is the place where a whole bunch of black people were getting themselves kicked out of, and that is Bali. First class though, because black people getting themselves kicked out of Bali. Oh yeah, there was a couple just acting. I don't know if they were acting up. What was going? on was it specifically this one chick? who wrote a book on how to go live in a Bali for cheap. And they were like, or you should write a book about how to get kicked out of Bali <laughs> for free. Um, no, nah, so she spent some money to get kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> you could buy first class for $29,000. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I've, I've spent yeah, a little bit. That. That's a nice jet right there. So again, if I send the whole family, that and plus the nannies, we we at like twenty, if not twenty two hundred thousand dollars right there. Mm -hmm. That's just the flight. And I want to be, but is Bali where Bali where that big old hotel is? Oh, you thinking of Dubai? That's where I want to go. Y'all, I don't want to go to Bali. She want to go to Dubai. I want to go to Dubai. Black people getting themselves kicked out of Dubai. No, black people going to visit Dubai, like, like. Yeah, they black people be going to Dubai. Don't they? I mean, Dubai. That's that's where you want to be. Okay, it don't cost as much. I had a girlfriend living in Dubai. Uh, Amisha, she lived in Dubai for a little bit. I'm not surprised. Amisha was over there teaching. I want to stay in that big hotel. The Let Palm Tree Hotel. Yeah. It's on the island, the, the prince that built his own island. Yeah. That's all the status right there. Right. I had a special rock and stone. He that was like, nah, you could use this and it'll work. He said, nah, I want all natural and now it's sinking. Yes. <laughs> he knew. He didn't care. He could yeah. waste that money. I, I want that too. Don't you? Yeah. Okay, what's the other thing you gonna do? You took my apple um, from yourself. My other thing is I want a custom built SUV. Mm-hmm. Like um something the size of like a suburban or a Yukon XL navigator type size, mm -hmm. a max. A large SUV. However, I want a custom engine. I want to push in about thousand horsepower. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to compete with uh, sports cars. Okay. Not that I would. I just want to have that power. You want to have the the. You want your SUV to have the power. Yeah. To compete. Power, the speed, the uh, stability, all of that. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Cause that's something that ain't going nowhere. You know, we can take trips and it's like, oh, that was a great memory. However, uh, I ain't came up with a name for this uh, monster of a vehicle yet. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's gonna be custom. I'm here for it. I, I'm here. Because I always say, you know, some people like they get they'll get um, like expensive car. Like let's say a car would cost like a sports car, or a supercar that costs like three hundred thousand dollars. Like I wouldn't do that. I would spend a hundred thousand dollars on it and then get it souped up, souped up with another hundred fifty to two hundred thousand dollars, and that's gonna beat any car you know of that category. But that's just me. But it's going to be lavish. It's going to be so lavish on the inside. It ain't going to be tacky like uh, Pimp My Ride tacky. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be dope. So, I was looking at the, uh, let me tell you, the Baj Al Arab uh, Arab. You say a a when you say Arab, it sounds wrong. It does. Arab. Arab. Baj, Burj Al, oh, well, how do we say we're going to say it? Not a rap, but what? Arab. Arab. Baj Al Arab. That's the name of the hotel. Oh, oh, the tallest one in the world. The one that's the pretty one, the best one. The yeah. we'll get the suite. It's oh, got three. It's got three bedrooms. What's it called? Burj. Baj. Burj. B U R J. Yeah. Yeah, that one. yeah. So the room that I'm gonna get is cost. Uh, it costs sixty-seven. That a uh, hundred a night. So that's the room. We're gonna get three of those. It's a three bedroom. What's, what's the night? Sixty seven hundred a night. That's it. Mm -hmm. I thought it'd be this something one. ridiculous. Now they ain't letting you know about the presidential suite. First of all, get this. Oh, the size of that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that is a presidential suite. <laughs> it is seventy two hundred and twelve square feet. It sleeps eight. It's ocean view. Two king size bed, one twin bed, free breakfast. Free breakfast? Who cares? <laughs> yeah. um, no, I would not get a Hellcat engine. Um, absolutely not. Now, I got a million eight. dollars. Yeah, your sleeps a free Wi Fi, free self parking. <laughs> yeah. What are you parking? Oh, yeah, when you go over, you got to rent like a Ferrari or Lamborghini or something. Uh, I think they said a bunch of people have. Um, it's not Mercedes Benz. It's the Maybach, I think. Yeah. Um, That's if you get a chauffeur. I ain't getting a chauffeur. Listen, I don't care. I could be in sandals, flip flops, walking everywhere. Just let me leave me in the hotel. Do they have a spa? Now y'all know. I already know. I get my million. Y'all know what I'm buying. Okay. I'm buying. House next to Beyonce. That. 
a million dollars would not buy that. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. What am I thinking? It's just a million. It's just a million. I'm getting my twenty. Your brother's doing a great job. Twenty-one Lexus LX five seventy. Okay. Getting that. Getting it at least three times in different colors. No, you're not. Black. White and then maybe like a shimmery purple. You're not getting that. Why not? Because what we would do is we would go shopping and looking at different options for vehicles and I would expose you to so many you'd be like, but why don't the Lexus look like this on the inside? <laughs> and you're gonna be like, why did you let me see this a long time ago? And then we're gonna get one that's gonna be a Lexus, your Lexus, and then the other two are gonna be other options. Three Lexuses, two other options. It's five days a week, a different SUV. You know the last is gonna be, are you eating into it because you gotta, you plan on taking a trip and doing this stuff? Yeah, I got a million, I, I got right. a million dollars to spend. Well, that's, the Lexus is gonna run you uh, about 110. Yeah. 120. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. You know, goddamn Lexus and nothing. Actually, at, at, at LC 500, little sports car. I'm not even in the sports car, y'all. I went to the LA uh, car show, and that's when they were introducing it's uh, the yeah the LC 500 Lexus uh, coupe. I'm not into like sports cars like that, but that thing, that thing is sexy. Now listen, hold on. What? The because Shantae tried to say Angel trying to drive a budget luxury car. That Lexus is expensive. And Lexus is like one people. This is I'm gonna talk to Ken too. People think Lexus is like a budget luxury car. Lexus, first of all, has you the comparable Mercedes and BMW. You get a lot more amenities with the Lexus. Um, the price is not that much different. Like the comparable Mercedes is around the same price. So is the BMW. They the same They're price. They like one twenty. Like you look up a Lexus, a LX five seventy brand, brand new. new. With all the bells and whistles. Yeah, you paying a high dollar price. That's the reason why I was um, like, oh. But people are they got they got their minds uh, twisted to think, oh, it's got to be a Benz or a BMW. I could do without a Volkswagen. That's all those cars are. Now, mind <laughs> you, there is a Mercedes Benz truck that I do want by next year. You can get that this year. We won't do it, but we can get that this I, year. I I didn't say we couldn't get it this year. I said I want it by next year because my. That's what I should have talked about. Got me in my feelings. If we didn't do that segment so long. What? The goddamn old truck. This Ford, y'all. I swear. Yeah, you always getting pinned, Shantae. Yeah. Hey, that Genesis. Uh, oh, it GBA wasn't Shantae. It was Shay. Shay. Shay, oh, my Shay bad, don't Shay. be trying to blame this on Shantae. That's not right. My bad, Shantae. Yeah, Shantae knows. She know cars. Shay, go on somewhere. You don't know nothing about no car. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Kev I was talking about. That ain't no... Kev, you don't know. Kev don't care <laughs> that he don't know. Um, yeah, my bad, Shantae. But also not my bad, because I'm sure you'll do Why y'all got to change y'all's names? Um, but yeah, that Genesis. <laughs> Genesis is dope. So yeah, you got your Lexus. Uh, got my Lexuses. Get my, my Lexus. other vehicles. And then put my kids, baby, in private school. I don't know. I think that would be it. That's too responsible. We ain't doing responsible things. Nothing That's responsible? Good. Nah. Okay, then I'm going to have a chef and a personal trainer that beats me here every morning. Get this body a yachty yachty. Do you really appreciate me? You be like, you got my bag. Mm -hmm. And get on my front. I am going to uh what you gonna do? I wanna take I wanna fly in a fighter jet. We'll go However, ahead the reason I, I use it I wanna use my money because the million dollars to do that is because you can only I'm too tall to get in a fighter jet. Good. So you can't do it. Oh I'm doing it because they're gonna make some changes within their fighter jet <laughs> Let me in order to get me to fly in it. You have to use the rest of the money on my hospital bill. Mm -mm. That's where I'm going to be. You're going to be in there too. Laid up in the hospital. There's going to be a three-seater. The, the cat, the pilot's <laughs> going to be up front. There's going to be me and you tandem with him. No, I'll be in the hospital. 
Is it? Did he make it back? Yeah, I actually looked that up. Um, to because you can take a ride in a in a fighter jet, but you can only be, I think, five eleven or like six one. Oh, you just barely made it, man. Something yeah. like it. Ah, uh, didn't make it. Maybe I use a little bit of my money to go out of space. Yeah. How much that cost? About thirty thousand. Ah, yeah. Sprinkle that on there. Maybe I don't know. Probably some training. That's just to get up there. There is a couple of people. One person I know. I don't know them, of course, but they apparently live in Santa Monica and they paid to go in outer space. Oh yeah. Just do it real quick. But how far in outer space would you get? Like, would they just take you up high enough to go into orbit and experience weightlessness? That's it. All I need. I don't need nothing, nothing, nothing else. You could do that in a plane. But it's but you're still Hold not on. outside. So she can go. I, she can go in outer space, but I can't take her out. <laughs> Fighter jets are meant to kill other people. And space is not meant for humans to be in. Good point. So if you I ain't gonna be shooting if people. If you can't go on a fight, however, jet. if they let me now, <laughs> <laughs> but people might shoot you. Anybody? Oh my God. They will be like, alert, alert. We just gonna go in a, a place. You don't that? know. Shut up. Yeah, you don't know if that rocket's gonna come back down and let you out in the space. You gonna be up there. I said you made a good point, so neither <laughs> one of us get to do it. You go up there and something go wrong. You just start drifting. We can't even watch movies like that because you lose it. You, could you imagine being in that situation? I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. You like, ah! I'm gonna be die. like people on the roller coasters to be passing out. <laughs> He's going to keep waking up and passing out. <laughs> that would be me. 100%. Uh, what would I, I don't know. I'm such a simple person. I don't be... When it comes to stuff like that, like, all right, Mark, you got a million dollars. Like, I'm getting my truck. You said last week, bet. I know what I'm. I know that's easy. That's easy. But I, I said invest. I just be investing in like I take five hundred thousand and buy. I pay somebody to tell me exactly what I need to do. Buy stock. Just as I just all that will go into stock. You might as well just buy property. Okay. I'm game with that too. I'm buying me a couple of Section 8 properties in Kentucky. I'm buying me some farmland because eventually they're going to want to tear it. They're going to want to buy it to uh, build apartments or another mall. Uh, I'm going to get that Section 8 because the government yeah, will always pay. pay. Yeah, definitely real estate. But it'd be investing in something to flip that. And then that 300000 would go toward my uh, my custom SUV. What's that leaving with? 200000 you're, oh, because you took five, the 500 Yeah. That was a cheating way. I just take That's what I said. I already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take 500000 I'm going to take 10% and I'm going to tithe it to the church. I'm going to tithe 5%. <laughs> That's not even tithing no more. That's just giving. Tithe means a tenth. Uh. I don't know. What other 200 I might just go to the strip club. Then I'm gonna take out the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out I wanna just walk in with a duffel bag and suitcases. <laughs> I'm gonna take out twenty thousand dollars in 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 one or hundreds because that's still thick. And I'ma slap that girl <laughs> at Aldo in the face with that money. <laughs> Five times. <laughs> And then leave 104. That's for your troubles. Mm. Clean yourself up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us, how would you spend your $1 million? There's somebody who won the lottery for $26 million that still has not claimed it, and they have, I can't remember how many days. They yeah, bought it. I think when, 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 people, bro. Yeah, when, when people do that, I think they, uh, that's what I would do. I would figure out, I think you have to, somebody explain to me how you do it. You can, you can do it in private. Like you can do it as a trust. I don't know some type of way to where you can claim it, yeah, and they put it on. Yeah. Trust. But that's probably what they're working on. They probably got a lawyer or something. That's how I would do it. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. Did you buy a lottery ticket in that home row? Now tell me. Nope. <laughs> I mean, I heard it today. I was like twenty six million. Oh, instant moist. 
Everybody gets Ferraris. You get a Ferrari. <laughs> Moist. We would only get like 10 million of it. That's still yeah, that's enough. Fine. You know, one, one thing I wouldn't do with real 10 million is pay off my student loans. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't getting none of this. Matter of fact, I spend more money on taking y'all to court to keep from paying. <laughs> Take this stupid degree back. You only know ninety thousand. Well, I'm gonna spend two hundred thousand to keep from giving it to y'all. Right. Oh my gosh. Melissa Stewart said her five year old Taylor wants a Lamborghini. And she would get one. <sighs> well, guys, so we're gonna end this podcast. It has been a two hour journey because we spent forty five minutes yeah. on technical Is it difficulties. Yes, it's the right All time. Right, All right, yeah, y'all, we gotta go. All These right. Is trash. So make sure again that you check out our sponsors, Better Help, Audible, and Magic Spoon. If also if you want to join our Patreon, we had a nice amount of people over here talking with us, laughing with us. Um, you too can talk and laugh with us. Mm -hmm. Um, it's only five dollars. You can go to a month. Five dollars. So you go to. Patreon.com slash that chick angel. I hope you've been enjoying. You haven't been watching them yet, have you? Uh, crafts and cocktails? I haven't. You gotta start. I gotta tell you the specific ones. Yeah, this goddamn. This has been between the house and work. I know, it's a lot. I can't wait till the house is settled. Um, but yeah, check out Crafts and Cocktails on both my YouTube channel, That Chick Angel TV, where you can watch this podcast, as well as on um Kevin Kevin Stage Stage Studios. Studios app yeah. that you should go ahead and subscribe to as well. All and right, if guys. If you haven't, huh. make sure you go over and subscribe to Tanksley TV. Thank you, um, babe. Yeah, make sure y'all do that. I got another um, Tasting with Tank. Tasting with Tank that I'm uh, editing, and the next series of Tasting with Tank will look different. Um, Herb Stirrer, the link for that will be in the bio of this video as well as the show notes yeah. of so this just go subscribe podcast. we're gonna get some more stuff over there all right beautiful people we shall talk to you all later you yeah, have a good one fam magic angel